It's going now. It's Burnley Borough Council Annual Council Meeting, 27th of May 2020. Members of the Council present Councillor Anne Kelly, Chair. Councillor Wajid Khan, Vice Chair, Councillors Afrasiab Anwar, Howard Baker, Gordon Bertwistle, Charlie Briggs, Bill Brindle, Paul Campbell, Frank Kant, Tom Comis, Ivor Emo, Dale Ferrier, Andy Fewings, B. Foster, Peter Gill, Sue Graham, Sarah Hall, John Harbour, Shah Hussein, Mohammed Ishtiak, Marcus Johnston, Tracy Kennedy, Arif Khan, Lubna Khan, Shabana Khan, Gordon Lishman, Margaret Lishman, Sarah Sloan, Tony Martin, Peter McCann, Lorraine Mahana, Neil Mottershead, Andrew Newhouse, Leanne Pate, Emma Payne, Mark Payne, Asif Raja, David Roper, Anne Royal, Jeff Sumner, Andrew Tatchell, Cosima Townley, and Mark Townsend. Officers of the Council, Nick Cartledge, Chief Executive, Luckman Patel, Chief Operating Officer, Catherine Wardby, Head of Legal and Democracy, Imelda Grady, Democracy Officer, David Bristow, Mayor's Officer, Alison McEwen, Democracy Officer, Chris Gay, Governance Manager, and Mark Hindman. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the council, officers, and members of the public watching at home. Our... Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this, our first remote meeting of the council. To those of you watching the live stream on YouTube, welcome. This is the first time we've all met together in circumstances like this. We've been practicing, but please bear with us. Item one on the agenda, election of Councillor Wajid Khan as mayor. I call upon Councillor Shah Hussain to move the election of Councillor Wajid Khan as mayor of the borough and chair of the council for the ensuing, for the ensuing municipal year. Councillor Shah Hussain. Thank you, Madam Mayor. I'm delighted to move the election of Councillor Wajid Khan as Mayor of the Borough and Chair of the Council for this municipal year. I started my political life at the same time as Wajid in what was a turbulent time in Danes House and Stonio. Both me and Wajid had to learn quickly as we had no guidance, but we had the best loyal and supportive group of young people who were energised by Wajid's approach. His dedication, vision, and attitude was mesmerizing. He was very infectious and he steamrolled through his first election campaign and many other victories, election victories followed. <clears throat> As I have accepted that we are much older and wiser now, mentor our diversity of strength as a council. Today, historic day, as we are having this in these difficult circumstances, but that's the great character of my friend Wajid. Wanting to serve the people of Burnley and show strong civic uh, leadership in any situation. I wish Wajid and Anam well in their mayoral year. There are no better people in my view to serve and represent the people of Burnley in these challenging times. Wajid's skills, skills knowledge and experience is what we need to lift the spirits of the people of Burnley. In my view, Wajid will be one of the most high profile mayors this town will have. He has received international awards for his work uh, with regards to human rights. He has served in one of the biggest parliaments in the world, the European Parliament. He has been on a TV celebrity uh, featuring um, BBC House building. So if any of, it, uh, so if any of, it, uh, of you want any DIY help, Mr. Mayor can definitely fix it for you. <laughs> Our new mayor has shown his love for this borough. He was born in Lanehead, went to Hevesley from primary school, attended Habergham High and graduated with a law degree and a master's in European law, 
from University of Central Lancashire. Through his work as an academic at UCLan, he's helped disadvantaged people, many of whom would have never gone to university to access higher education. He's passionate about Burnley. He helped the university to develop their campuses here, both at um, Burnley College site and one, the new one at uh, Victoria Mill. He's a local lad and he's always helped local people. And the only time we let him out was to go to Brussels and teach people in Europe a bit about Burnley culture. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to be moving this motion and see my friend, Councillor Wajid Khan, becoming Mayor of our borough. Thank you. <clears throat> Madam Mayor, are you there to take the next uh, speaker? Lubna, do you want to come in and second the motion, I think? Yeah, yes. sure. I think that we lost the mayor. Oh, we lost the mayor. Yeah. I've come back, I think. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Do you want to take... Oh, I don't know. Is she gone again? Yeah. You're on. I, You're on. Councillor... I call upon Councillor Lubna to second the motion and to add a few words if she so wishes. Thank, Thank you, you, Madam Mayor. Good afternoon, fellow councillors and ladies and gentlemen. I am Councillor Lubna Khan, and it is a pleasure to second this motion for Councillor Wajid Khan to be the Mayor of Burnley. I have known Councillor Wajid Khan over 10 years and had the pleasure of meeting him when he was undertaking a brilliant initiative aimed mainly at supporting BAME women get back into education. He had co-written a degree in community leadership to enable people from all backgrounds who had been out of education obtain a degree based on their life experiences and counting them as assets rather than their qualifications only. He was my lecturer and as a teacher enabled me to make my way into the world where I could find my own career path. It will come as no surprise then that when I embarked on my journey to become a leader, he was more than supportive and he has been so ever since. Spanning over a decade of volunteering and community work, the Burnley Race Riots in 2001 inspired Wajid to develop a number of community cohesion projects, which gained him the Higher Education Active Community Fund Volunteering Award for Social and Community Cohesion in 2004. Wajid's work in community development has seen him address the civil G8 on inclusive education in Moscow, and advise the Russian Ministry of Education and Science on developing youth strategies. He's presented papers to European-wide volunteer conferences in Germany, France, Bosnia, and Italy. In his career, he has no doubt made some remarkable achievements, but his career as a politician is most equally as impressive. As one of the most highly respected councillors representing his ward in Stony Oman Dane's house, he has gone on to become an MEP, where he has taken the world stage, highlighting issues uh -oh. both at home and abroad. His passion for those who are underrepresented has always been at the forefront of his duties, most notably his work on human rights, and in particular, Kashmir. He served on the Labour Party National Forum, Policy Forum and International Policy Commission, in addition to serving on the Northwest Regional Board. As one of the youngest mayors in the history of Burnley, he no doubt is up there amongst those with the most experience and expertise. His networks and connections will serve well in his upcoming position as mayor, and I believe he'll be able to do the people of Burnley proud and carry out his service with vigour, conviction and passion. Therefore, Madam Mayor, it is both my honour and my pleasure to second this motion. Thank you, <laughs> <Lacan>. <laughs> no. Members of the Council only. Will those in favour please say aye? Aye. 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 Aye.
Aye. Aye. Aye. And the final aye. Yeah. Aye. 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 Oh, so. <laughs> aye. Aye. Those against. I declare the motion carried. There will now be a brief pause while the mayor dons the civic regalia.
Members of the Council, officers, ladies and gentlemen, the Mayor of Burnley, Councillor Wajid Khan. I call upon the Mayor, Councillor Wajid Khan, to make the statutory declaration of acceptance of office. I, Councillor Wajid Khan, having been elected to the office of Mayor of the Borough of Burnley, declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfill the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. I undertake to observe the code as to the conduct which is expected of members of the council. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. It is the greatest honour of my life to serve as the youngest ever mayor of Burnley and Padium, where I was born, bred, and lived all my life. It is truly humbling to become your mayor and to be given the opportunity to serve the people. We are making history this evening by having our first ever virtual mayor making ceremony. When I served as the council's cabinet member for resources, I led the greatest technological advancement of council meetings by moving towards iPads and modern Gov. So it's fitting that I should take the oath in this way and benefit from this digitalization, or put another way, end up being a victim of my own vision. I want to add my personal thanks to the retiring mayor. She's had months of disruption and many cancellations. It's been hard on her, and I'm sure I speak for everyone in saying thank you for all your hard work in your middle year. I would like to thank Councillor Shawse and Councillor Lubna Khan for moving and second, seconding the motion this evening and for their kind words and generosity. Due to government guidelines, it saddens me to say that my mother and father could not be here with me in person. I wanted to introduce to the chamber the two people who made me the person I am today. My father came to this country and made Burnley's home at the age of 15. My mother came years later. They instilled public service and helping others as strong family values. They inspired me to use what skills and experience I have in the service of the community. I would like to extend deep gratitude to the amazing people of Danes House and Stonion who have put their trust and confidence in me for four consecutive elections. It's been an honor to have such big hearted support throughout the years. Without it, I wouldn't be here. I want to congratulate Anam, my wife, as she takes up her position as the mayoress. You have been a continuous rock of solid support ever since you came into my life. I'm extremely grateful for all the sacrifices the whole family has made, including my brothers and sisters, who often rightfully complain that they never see me. My children, Amira and Hassan, could also not be here tonight. But once they are allowed to come, I assure everyone the town hall will be a vibrant place with their presence in the mayor's parlour. I recommend all the neighbouring council staff to start wearing these cancelling headphones. I'm delighted to announce that my brother Zayed Khan will be my consul. Throughout my political life, Zayed and my elder brother Naeem have been a momentous force alongside me. Tonight, I want to talk about the unprecedented challenge we face as a borough. At this time of terrible sadness and mourning, I assure you that I will do everything in my power to support you. Your compassion and community spirit is the backbone of Burnley and Padium, and I intend to play the greatest role I can. We must continue to support men and women on the front line, NHS workers, care workers, and everybody putting themselves at risk for the common good. We must support them by always following the government guidelines. Her Majesty the Queen summed it up early in the crisis. We should take comfort that while we may have more still to endure, 
Better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. Technology is playing a pivotal part in our daily lives. So many of us have been zoomed out and teens out during the lockdown. Many of us have been quizzed out. But I would like to use your newfound technological skills to support the middle year. During this time of rainbows in our windows and uncertainty in our lives, let's think outside the box this year and lift the spirits of the people. In Burnley, we have seen difficult times previously. We came together as a town after the 2001 disturbances, and it's our togetherness, kindness, and compassion that is helping us in these strange times. We must never lose hope. Councillors, this office and myself will always be available for you. I will be in contact with each and every one of you in the next few days and weeks to arrange virtual meetings with people across the borough with your support and guidance. Tonight, I launched the Mayor's Medal, where I invite everyone in Burnley and Padding to nominate and send details to local organisations and individuals that have gone above and beyond the call of duty in supporting our residents during the crisis. Our award winners will be announced on a weekly basis, and we aim to have a presentation ceremony for 50 award winners towards the end of my tenure. Please send your nominations to mayor at burnley.gov.uk. This year, we will raise money for community and voluntary groups across the borough, in addition to supporting the Homeless Shelter Project. Online, fu online fundraising will be launched for our charitable work, and I will detail some personal initiatives to help fundraise in the near future. We will use social media like never before. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. I hope councillors John Harbour and Frank Kant are taking note of all this. And I look forward to their and other colleagues' online friendship requests in all of these platforms I've just mentioned. I want to thank former Mayor Councillor Andy Thatchell for his mentoring and support to prepare for this special year. Councillor Thatchell, I have you on speed dial for the next 12 months. Talking of mentors, I can't speak on such an auspicious occasion without mentioning the greatest life mentor one can have. That is Professor Alethea Melling, MBE, who has been my manager for so much of my career at the University of Central Lancashire. Professor Melling, thank you for everything you have done for me in developing me to this level and for never giving up on me. I thank UCLan and the School of Social Work, Care and Community for their support during this municipal year. I am told that family, friends and former parliamentary colleagues are watching this broadcast across 20 countries as well as the residents of Burnley. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Finally, your Mayor and Mayoress are excited and look forward to serving the people of Burnley and Padium in this historic year. Let's make this a positive and memorable year. We will bring innovation, creativity and modernism to our role as Mayor and Mayoress whilst respecting and appreciating our brothers' traditions and history. In the words of our NHS fundraising hero, Captain Tom Moore, please join me in believing that tomorrow will be a good day. Could I ask all of you to join me in one minute silence as a mark of respect to all those people that have tragically lost their lives because of the coronavirus. Thank you very much, everybody, and thank you, and may God bless the people of this borough. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, the next item is... Uh,
Uh, okay, item number two, get me there. Vote of thanks to the retiring mayor. I call upon Councillor Gordon Burwissel to move a vote of thanks mayor, Councillor Ann Kelly, for her service during this municipal year. Mr. Mayor, Mayoress, members of the council, well, this, in 37 years that I've been a member of this council, this is the first time I've ever delivered a vote of confidence, a vote of thanks to a retiring mayor. Can everybody hear me? <laughs> right, okay. He doesn't tell you on here. Uh, to the retiring mayor. And Hunter Consort John, we're having an absolutely amazing, fantastic, and successful year until early March when this appalling lockdown started and all normal activity ceased. Alice continued to be busy at home, even during the lockdown, making fundraising, making jams on uh, industrial scale uh, to, uh, to sell for her charity. She has supported her family and the council staff during these times. Most of you won't know that our mayor became a great grandma during the lockdown, and like many other grandparents, has yet to be properly introduced to her new granddaughter, Esme. But you'll all agree with me that she looks nothing like a great grandma. I think they must breed them young and virile in Briarcliff. And Thank I'm you, John, <laughs> Anne and John have had an incredibly busy year until the lockdown with 134 official engagements. More than 40 other engagements were already in the diary but were cancelled because of the pandemic and there would have been more. It must have been extremely, extremely disappointing to end like this. I know they have been immensely enjoyed being out and about and seeing a wide range of people and organisations that we have in Burnley. One of Anne's particular achievements in her year has been the local people and the children who have voted, visited the town hall. They have all had the chance to see the council chamber, the old dungeon that's at the base of the council chamber, and they have much about the history of the bury and the highlights was the visit to the cells. I don't know whether they still shut the door with the children in it and switch the light off, like they did when I was the mayor, but uh, it's certainly a, a very interesting thing for young children to see. Up to date, the mayor, I understand, has raised in the region of £21,000, and there's still more coming in. She has already donated £1,500 to the Talking Newspaper to help them support people during this appalling pandemic. They hosted the biggest mayor's ball yet, with over 300 guests at the newly opened Crowwood Hotel, raising an astonishing £2,000 for their charity. And if anybody knows Andrew Brown and the investment he has made in the Crowwood Hotel and in Crowwood, they must feel immense sympathy and hope that things will turn around soon because of his commitment, not to the hotel and its surroundings, but to the town that he so loves like we all do. The Consorts Committee, have been really busy this year, holding all sorts of events, some large, some small, including the ladies' lunch, the annual ladies' lunch at Townley Hall, where the mayor manages to persuade uh, some gentlemen, me included, to wait on the ladies for the day. A particularly challenging event took place the day after the general election, which was organised by my wife to the De Devonshire Arms and then on to Harrogate and to see uh, G4 uh, in concert before Christmas. That was an absolutely amazing, amazing show. Uh, the gen most of the people that went were tired, but the people that have been involved with the general election were es especially tired. Uh, and also another major event that was a great success was a fashion show that was held at the college. And um, we must say thanks to the support that the college have given the mayor over the past 12 months. Members also of the committee will also remember a visit to Lynham Hall and the splendid afternoon tea. The event at Lawrence House and the Rosehill House luncheon have been a great success. Much more was planned for the rest of the year, but alas, has had to be cancelled. Anne has also faced challenges in the council chamber. The composition of the council has led to 
much more lively de de debate than in previous year. I'm sure all members will agree she has carried out her role as our chairman very fairly to all councillors. In these uncertain times, some of the civic dignitaries, including the few in Lancashire, will be ending their term of office in the same way as we are doing here, and welcoming a new mayor in the way, the way that we are doing now. I'd like to say on behalf of the council and the people of Burnley, a big thank you to Anne and John for your service to our borough over the last year and your for dignified, fair and principled way in which you have finished your year. This borough is grateful to you for all your efforts and wishes for you and your family well in the future. I wish to move a vote of thanks be given to our, our, our uh, former mayor, Councillor Anne Kelly, and her husband John for the hard work they have done in the last 12 months. I so move. Thank you. Thank you. The whistle. Can I call upon, could I now call upon Councillor Charlie Briggs to second the motion? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I just want to say uh, thank you very much, Anne, for what you did for me last week uh, with Mr. Zelle. I think that brightened my life up for the last eight weeks. Uh, it's incomprehensible what you did, and I much appreciate everything what uh, what you did for Mr. Zelle. So I second the motion, Mr. Mayor, and I hope that you have a fantastic year along with the Madam Mayor. And thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Councillor Briggs. The vote of thanks has been moved and seconded. Will those in favour please say aye? Aye. 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 I declare the motion carried. At a later date, I will present Councillor Anne Kelly and Mr. John Kelly with the ex mayor and consort medallions. I now call upon Councillor Anne Kelly to reply to the vote of thanks. Councillor Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Madam Mayor. It doesn't seem like a year since my May making. Everything's so different today. This time last year, at least I've managed to get my hair done. We've had so many highlights, it's hard to pick out any special particular visits. The most special times are when we've met Burnley residents and businesses and shared and congratulated them on their successes. We should be proud of the fantastic young people in our town. We celebrated three Princess Trust Awards, inspected the ATC, visited schools and brought school and uniform groups into the town hall. They were all a credit to Burnley. But the best example of Burnley people is being highlighted at the moment. Over 250 volunteers came forward to support vulnerable residents during this pandemic. They add to the magnificent support being given by the Burnley Together Hub Burnley Pendle and Rossendale CVS, Burnley Leisure and BFC in the community who are organising the food banks. This is Burnley at its best. Thank you to every single one of you. Thank We've you. eaten some amazing food. Everywhere we went, we were offered food and of course we're too polite to refuse. I was asked at the beginning of the year if I had any personal goals. I said I wanted to be the same weight at the end as I was at the beginning absolutely failed on that one. Three standouts are the lunch to celebrate 10 years of the Saturday Polish School, the Showman's Guild lunch at Crowwood and the Spring Carnival with the Latvian and Lithuanian communities. I have to say thank you to so many people. Thank you to the Town Hall staff, especially Maureen, Georgia and Claudia. And a huge and special thank you to David Bristow. I still call him David, although I know everyone else calls him Foggy. He has guided us through with such friendliness and professionalism. Thank you, councillors. You've given me some challenging meetings. 
fortunately, Mick, Luckman and Catherine have been there to support me all the way. I have a mug here, which I thought of bringing to council meetings and putting on the front. It says, don't make me use my teacher voice, which I don't think I did. Thank you to the consorts committee who've worked their socks off for us. A big thank you to my family for their support, for buying tens of thousands of raffle tickets. Big special thank you to John. We've shared all this together, as we always do, and he's been with me every step of the way. It has been a bit of a disappointing end to the year, and we've had to cancel engagements, but we will always remember the good times we had and the people we met. I sincerely hope that His Worship the Mayor and His Mayoress are fortunate enough to attend engagements and meet our wonderful residents. And Wajid, Mr Mayor, Good luck with chairing the full council meetings. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ben, Councillor uh, Kelly. Um, let's move on to item three now, which is appointment of the Deputy Mayor. I call upon Councillor John Harbour to move the election of for Mark Townsend to act as a Deputy Mayor during my illness or absence for the period of my year of office. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I so move that, Mr Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Harbour. I call Councillor Arif Khan to second the motion. My privilege to second the motion. Thank you, Councillor Khan. Will all those in favour please say aye? Aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> and those against? Aye. I call upon the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Mark Townsend, to make the statutory declaration of acceptance of office. Thank you. I, Councillor Mark Townsend, having been elected to the office of Deputy Mayor of the Borough of Burnley, declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. I undertake to observe the call as to the conduct which is expected of members of the council. And Mr Mayor, if you would, I would just like to introduce the Mayor S in 12 months time. But first and foremost, we know our duty is to help you and support you and the mayoress through these next 12 months, which we will do to our utmost ability to make sure that your mayoral year is a success uh, and good wishes. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Councillor Mark comes in and it's great to see the Deputy Mayor. Thank you. Item four, Mayor's communication. The mayoral, the mayoral engagements will either be held virtually or rescheduled uh, to a suitable day. That concludes the business and I declare the meeting closed. May I remind you that the appointments council meeting will take place at 6.30 and let us to join the meeting on an advance. Can I just also say well done for next meeting for this virtual meeting. Thank you. Separate stream for the next meeting at 6.30, which can be found on the Council's YouTube channel. Thank you.